Hey guys, welcome back. Peppermint 10 just recently released, so I'll be going into the most important stuff, just the basics, what you need to know, what's new, and if it's worth trying out this new ISO. So when you, we take a look here at the terminal, it's using the 4.4.18 kernel, and it's going to roll into the latest kernel, I believe it's 5.0, and you don't have to worry about that. And also, Peppermint is based on top of Ubuntu 18.04, and that also means that it's going to be using the same packages. Uh, so when you take a look at the software center, I'll just pull that up really quick. When you take a look at that, uh, it's basically going to have the same packages as you would otherwise see in Ubuntu 18.04. And on top of that, another thing that they mentioned in the release notes is um, reviews so I don't know if this existed uh, in the previous versions now I believe I don't see the reviews because I'm not connected to the internet but if you like a program you want to give it a five-star rating or whatever you can go ahead I believe this uh, is on the Linux Mint website of course you'll be able to see that in the release notes but you can now give ratings for uh, for the programs and whatnot. And also another thing is of course when you take a look at the installer it has this option where you can install third-party software for graphics and whatnot. So this is especially nice for NVIDIA users because if you have an NVIDIA graphics card you could just uh, select this option and it'll automatically just detect everything for you and install the proper drivers without a hassle. Now, one thing to keep in mind though, if you do choose to enable this option while you're installing the system, uh, you probably should disable secure boot in case you haven't done that, um, so that in case you don't have any problems or trouble with that. And so, what else we could take a look at is, well, we could take a look at the application. So if you want to figure out if you're a new user coming into Peppermint, you want to figure out if it's bloated or not, if it has too many applications, just going to quickly just scroll through these applications. You can pause if I'm going too fast. And you can take a look at all the default applications that are installed. And of course it has the essentials and other types um, of software, also settings that pertain to this specific distribution. And finally, we could just take a look at really quickly some of the wallpapers that it has. Now, I'm not going to apply all of them. Again, I'm probably just gonna scroll through them. But there's a lot of sunsets here and like the main primary color is orange that you tend to see often among these wallpapers and my favorite is this squirrel here. So that was basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.